Hi everyone, Claudia here from Lighting Clarity. I'm just coming on just to talk briefly about a few different points that Spirit would like me to make. One of those points is that when you follow your intuition, when you trust yourself, when you listen to your own internal compass, this is you allowing the higher self, the spirit self, the soul, the divine creator God to merge with you more and more. It allows you to hear what that inner you, your inner soul, your, your higher self wants you to know. It's like they echo in the information into you when you're listening to your intuition. Trusting what feels right to you, even if it doesn't with anybody else. It's the same when you're learning clairvoyance, which is what I teach. It's trusting the first thing that comes in, trusting what you're feeling, trusting what you're seeing, and going with it. The more you trust yourself, the more your higher selves come in, the more your oversoul comes in, the more God comes in, because you allow them to speak. You allow them to come in, and you honor you when you trust your own intuition. I see a lot of clients that have been through different types of trauma and as a result of those different types of trauma they've left parts of themselves behind um, and it happens to all of us and I'm in the business of bringing back those fragmented parts back into you bringing you back to wholeness bringing you back to being centered bringing you back to being you and honoring you just as you are you know and I've said this many times if you look for validation in the outside world you're never going to find it if you're going to look whether you fit in you're never going to find that either. You're never going to fit in. You're never going to find validation because everybody is looking for that. We all are. And it's when you get to a point of self-acceptance, self-love, regardless of what you have done, regardless of what you haven't done, regardless of whether you could have reacted better some years ago to a particular family member, handled a situation better recently or not, it's kind of giving yourselves a break. Bringing in the energy of compassion and love. You didn't come here to get it right every time. You didn't come here to hit it on the head every time. Though we're programmed to think that we're supposed to hit it on the head every time because that's what society expects. <clears throat> that's what everybody expects. Excuse me, I'll have a quick drink. And your language becomes a self-fulfilling reality. The way in which you speak to yourself becomes a self-fulfilling reality. Your language, the words you speak, the words you speak internally to yourself. And often these fragmented parts that I see that have left others and that I bring in soul retrieval as such, soul part retrieval, soul fragment retrievals. Often some of these have been fragmented off due to um, Words that were spoken to those people, be it at school, be it from family members, be it in all regards, bosses, parts of themselves they felt were not accepted and that they had to separate from. It is so important that we honour ourselves and that we love ourselves. And you've heard me say this time and time again. That's your empowerment. That's your key to moving forward. Even being alright with the situations that you don't have an answer for, even being alright with not being able to resolve certain things because sometimes we're not meant to resolve everything. Sometimes things are as they are and sometimes they serve as a life lesson for those other people that are in those situations with you. And that's sometimes a hard thing to really accept and to hear. God didn't create earth for perfection. He created it as a playground of life lessons and growth. And as you've heard me say before, earth is one of the most turbulent dimensions to incarnate on because it is, it offers the furthest growth, the fastest than anywhere else is going to reward you. I do spend a lot of times up in the, in the higher realms when I meditate, um, when I'm away from the camera, when I'm away from being with my clients. That's something I do and I love doing, I love channeling. I'm not just channeling and listening for advice, I'm also going up to the higher realms because I want to receive some deep healing. And one of the realms I went to, which I do go to sometimes, is the soul realm where I commune with my soul and I see and I go into um, the temple or whatever you want to call it, the temple is what I'm going to call it, I've been taken into a temple and I have been shown uh, the other souls that pertain to other people uh, on earth and on other realms and I've seen the souls as they walk around, I've seen how did they work, um, how did they work with each of us, how did they merge with us, our souls are really there to assist us in the best way, they are your highest version of you. 
my soul looks, she presents as looking like me, um, but she she feels like a wiser, older sister. Yeah, a very calm, grounded. She's me without, and she, your soul's a you without all the anxiety, the concern, the worries, the fears, excuse me, the criticisms. They are a very grounding resource uh, when you commune with your soul, and they showed me that your souls merge with you as you grow. Because as you grow, you allow them in, and as you allow them in, your perspective, your perspective on your life changes. Even what you liked doing goes, because you've grown. You're plugged into a higher frequency, if you like. All right, I was asked just to come on and um, just to give you that quick message. Now I'll just pull a quick card. We'll see if it's just a, a general message that they'd like to give you all. Just as a, um, a community, yeah? Just be with me. Praying over the cards. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Got the energy of God coming in and Archangel Michael as we just pull the card. For those of you who are watching, just pulling the card. Just a second. Okay. Okay, so the cards that I have, I've actually pulled two. So I've got decisive, focus, driven, defensive, events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected changes. Review your option, options carefully. See that? And the other one is working too hard or too many hours. The need for balance in life. Let others help you. Help problems due to stress. So there's definitely a need for balance here for each of you. I've been feeling some ill health amongst some of you um, of late, especially in clients as well, as well as all of you as, a, as some of you as a community. So there is a need to look at diet, they're saying. Um, and I'm feeling like some of you are having some tests as well. I'm seeing that in my clients, but I'm also feeling it community-wise for each of you watching. Some of you are having some tests as well. Um, I'm seeing some of you consult naturopaths, homeopaths, or that will be coming up. That's going to help you balance some of your immune systems a lot better. It's just something they're bringing in. Okay, so with this, <clears throat> this other card, I'm going to come back to, I'm getting... They're asking me to come back to there being an opportunity offered to you that you won't expect to come in. Um, it will be coming in. It's a small opportunity. It's going to be unexpected. I've already had that opportunity come in. It actually came in today. <laughs> and I think I channeled, um, on Monday, I channeled uh, the reading of the week. Yeah, and I had an unexpected thing come in today. This is Tuesday that I'm recording this. So I had to laugh when it came and I went, oh, hang on, this sounds familiar. So they're bringing me back to the options. Well, an option will be coming in for you as to whether you take it or not will be up to you. But it'll be an unexpected, nice opportunity. And you'll be like, oh, I think I'll give that a go. Or maybe I won't, but that's nice. Thank you for asking. So I'm getting that coming in. So you will be asked to make that decision. Some of you are quite emotional at the moment as well. They're bringing me to that. There's a lot of emotions coming through the heart. Some of you are feeling a bit of anxiety to do with certain situations or people around you. But I do see you rising above it in the time to come and making some decisions to do things your own way regardless of what anyone else thinks or says. I see you starting, you will start to come into that and go, you know what, stuff them. I'm going to do this and that's that. I don't care what the world around me thinks care necessarily what everyone else thinks I have to do this I'm going to go do it and it's done with a sense of excitement of adventure of what's coming next many blessings thanks everyone aha uh -huh. so this brings me to this Thursday this Thursday will be the 22nd I have um, a free appointment at midday 12 p.m. Melbourne time 
um, it's just come available if anybody is wanting a reading I will keep that free for a reading more than happy to book you in my readings are $188 and I go for an hour and 15 minutes so if you're wanting a session please send me an email very quickly um, because it tends that my appointments tend to go quite quick so always happy to fit in an emergency you all know that I do that my regular clients but um, there is an appointment this Thursday 12 p.m. Melbourne time let me know thanks everyone